In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I take my birds outside in the warmer months and sharing some tips with you so that your bird can enjoy some time outside. The first thing you want to take into consideration is the weather. The temperature, the UV index scale, the wind, the sun, humidity, rain or snow, cloudiness, time of day, month of the year will all be a factor in taking your birds outside. The ideal temperature could be anywhere between 20 to 30 degrees Celsius, but that would all depend on all the weather conditions. 30 can be very, very hot. 20 could be very cold. I like it between 23 and 26, but it all depends on all the weather conditions. This was a nice, beautiful day for my birds to go outside. Just remember that the weather changes from minute to minute, from hour to hour, from day to day. So always look at your uh, weather. You can put a thermometer outside. You can download a weather app. You can check the wind. You can check the UV index scale. You can check everything with the weather. You can also go outside. What I do is I put a t-shirt on and see if my arms are cold or if it's too hot. If it's too hot or too cold for me, I don't put my birds outside. On cloudy days, the UV rays are not as strong, but they're still there. So it's pretty safe to put your bird outside. But when you see broken clouds, meaning you can see the skies in the clouds, apparently upon my research, the UV rays are stronger than ever. They're stronger than they are when the sky has no clouds at all. Avoid putting your bird out on a day like this as there is either rain or a storm coming. There's usually some kind of wind outside. There are rarely any days that there's no wind, but some wind is fine as long as it's a warm wind. This is normal wind, the trees are moving slowly, but this is very, very windy. Now, if I go outside and my hair is blowing all over the place, I don't put my birds out as they don't really appreciate that. And it depends on if the, the wind is warm or the wind is cool. Sometimes it can be warm outside, but the wind is cool. So always you got to take that into consideration, uh, what the wind is like and how, how many kilometers it's, it's blowing by. Um, I just don't put my birds out in this. It's not very nice. I don't even like to be out outside in that windy day. It just blows the birds all over in their feathers and they kind of ruffle up. They don't like it. It kind of scares them as they're not used to it. it has, you know, they live indoors and we don't really have wind in our house. Um, they don't appreciate the fast, fast winds. You know, some little warm breezes, a little bit of wind um, won't hurt them. All my birds go onto my deck. I like them as close to the house as possible. This is my Avery that my birds take turns in. Hi, Kingsley. This is Kingsley, my king parrot. Hi, baby. Another thing you want to take into consideration when putting your birds outside is predators. There could be cats or snakes or hawks, foxes, raccoons, bears, or even human thieves. My predators are hawks and I set up cameras. I have bamboo fences on each side of my deck so no one can see in as I don't want my birds to be stolen. I have two cameras so that I can see everything. I love these cameras. I can see everything on my phone and I can hear everything on my phone. Now I use these because in case I got to go in the house, I'm usually outside with my birds. I never leave the house. I don't recommend you leaving the house and leaving your birds outside. This is how it looks like from one angle. Now you never want to leave your bird alone, especially if you leave the house. It's very dangerous. Anything could happen. And this is my other camera. It faces my Avery and I point it up to the sky so I can see if there's any hawks circling around. And usually my birds will give alarm calls if they see any larger birds flying up in the sky. So I can just come out and have a look and scare away the hawks if they're up there. When your birds are outside, it's best to secure the doors. Here I am using uh, cable ties and I put round, around uh, each door, any door that can open. Um, you just uh, put it on and just tighten it right up. And that way there's less chance that your bird will push the door open and get away. And less chance for someone to come along and open the door as well. So they're very, very tight. If you have small children or any guests coming over, it's best to turn the cage around and put the, the door to the cage against the wall. That way there's less 
chance that someone will come along and just open it and especially children has sometimes they don't you know know any better and they'll just open up the door and this way it's against the wall and there's less of a chance someone will come over and you know pull the cage and open the door so this is a much safer solution if you have multiple cages like I do, you can put their doors, you know, back to back like this and just kind of, you know, put the cages together. And I'll just use caution if you got two birds that don't like each other and that can bite, you know, each other's feet through the bars. You don't want that to happen. But this is much safer. It's less chance they'll try to get away. And it's less chance that somebody will come along and open the door because the door, you know, is hidden in the middle there. If your bird's cage is too large to bring outside, you can put your bird in a carrier. But make sure you always hold the carrier by the bottom. As some of these cages, such as this one, if you hold it from the top, the bottom can fall off. And you wouldn't want that to happen. So for safety reason, always hold it from the bottom. And make sure you put that cable tie on the door. And here's another cage where my husband is putting on top of the budgie cage. My linnies are in here. You can see that he's holding it from the bottom just so the bottom doesn't fall off and my birds go flying away. There are different options in travel cages that you can get for your bird. Just find the appropriate size and you can put your bird in there and you can take them outside if it's you know too hard to take out their cage that they're in every day. This is marbles. I'm just putting her on the table here pretty marbles and I always give them water and a little bit of food another option you can use to lock the door would be a d-ring I would use the cable ties on our marbles cage but she likes to chew and she'd probably chew right through the cable tie so she has a hard time chewing these because they're stainless steel but these will help um, you got to be careful with birds like bigger birds and mustache parakeets or macaws or any bigger bird that can figure out how to open things because I wouldn't want marbles to get away so I put two of them on here um, just to be safe because uh, you know she's pretty smart she might be able to open the door all creatures need sunshine especially our pet birds as they're living in our house uh, most of the year with artificial lighting so it's best to get them outside to get some real sunshine to get their vitamin D now birds can be out in the direct sun anywhere from 5 minutes to 30 minutes. It really depends on where you live, the time of the day, the season, the UV index level, and all that goes into consideration. You wouldn't want to put your birds out in the hot, scorching sun while they'll overheat. If your bird overheats, you'll see your bird panting and it'll be holding its wings away from its body. So you want to put it in shade right away and spray it down with um, cool, not cold water, like cool water, or warm water you don't want your bird to overheat now um now as i film this is may so the, the sun isn't too hot so i put them out for a good 30 minutes to get some nice sun and my birds they're preening themselves and um sunbathing and taking baths they're all having a good time but my where i live in ontario canada july and august is the hottest season so when it's really hot and the sun is beaming down I've really even put them outside. I just put them outside when the weather is tolerable and the sun is tolerable. And sometimes I only put them in the sun for about five minutes. So there's no really answer to how long you should give them sun. You know, if you look it up on the internet, they say 30 minutes, but that depends. You don't want to put them in the scorching sun where they're burning and their eyes are hurting and they're just sweating and they're so hot. So you just got to use caution and use your own judgment of how long to put them in the sun. Never put your bird outside all day in the sun. Um, birds have died. I've seen them on social media. People telling me they have their birds out in the sun and they die. Birds can get sunburned too, especially if your bird doesn't have... Um, like all its feathers, if they were to pluck her and their skin is exposed, they can get sunburn. They can get, you know, their eyes will, will hurt, will burn. Um, their feet, they can get sunburn on their feet. So you really have to use caution of how long you can put them in direct sun. They can be in the shade. But you want to provide, um, this is what I do, I put um, a blanket or a towel or anything over half of the cage. And that way the bird can choose whether to go into the shade or the sun so they have an option so if they get hot they can just go back into this shady 
area of their cage. And this is Starfire, so she has a choice to go back into the shade or stay into the sun. She really loves the sun. She takes a lot of sun baths. And you can see my canaries, they decided to stay in the shade. An umbrella is a great option for your birds. If you put your birds on your patio set, you have an umbrella. It keeps them nice and shady. My budgies are pretty much in the shade and my linnies are on top getting a little bit of sun. Pickles came out to sit in the sun for a little bit. Nuggets is, is on the bottom. He likes to stay on the bottom as he's got arthritis. Then again, there's a blanket on my Borg's cage to provide some shade. And my cockatiels are enjoying full sun. And Kingsley has a shade cloth. I find it best to take out the newspaper from the bottom of the cage as when there's a little bit of wind, it starts to blow and it actually scares the birds and it just makes a mess anyways. All the, you know, if there's seeds or whatever, they just blow all over and um, I find it just frightens the birds. So I take it all out and for another reason too, if they take a bath, I'm going to give them a mist bath and that way the paper won't get all wet and soggy. I can just pull out those trays later and wipe them down. It's much easier. Before you bring your birds outside, it's best to take out any fresh foods that you've given them. As I find, the fresh foods attract bugs, especially flies or bees. If you got fruit in there, the bees will come. And you really don't want um, you know, bugs around your birds. They can just be fine with water and dry food. You can give them fresh food again once they're back inside. If you have air conditioning in your house and it's pretty cold and then it's hot outside and you move your bird outside, it can actually shock your bird. So I recommend you turning your air conditioning down to make it a little bit warmer in your house before you put your bird outside and before you bring them in as well as putting them in from the, you know, from a cold house to a hot outside and then bringing them back into a cold house that can put them in kind of like a shock. It's not really good for them. So that's what I do. I lower the temperature in the house to make sure um, they don't get shocked from the different sudden temperatures. Kingsley, you happy to be outside? Yeah. If you have an aviary you that you're using just for daytime use, for temporary use like I have, and you need to get your bird into the aviary, um, the safest way is to use a travel cage to bring your bird into the aviary and out of the aviary. I've seen some people carrying their birds like against their chest or putting them on their shoulder and they can clearly fly away. So it's safe to use a travel cage and that's what I do with my birds. Come on. Hungry? We're going to go inside now, okay? What a good boy. I put them in their travel cage, give them a little treat. Good boy. And then I shut the door and bring them in the house. Kingsley's pretty, pretty oh, tame. I could probably carry him, but I'm afraid oh, it just takes one second there for him to go. get scared and to fly away. Oh, your snack. When your birds are outside, it's a great opportunity to give them a bath, especially a mist bath. As I, I find that they love doing the mist bath outside. I have a mister that goes on my Avery. It's not set up yet, but it's going to be set up soon. And um, I give my birds a mist bath or they'll go into their bath water at the bottom of the cage. My budgies love to be misted. They get so excited and they hop back and forth. And here's Willow just preening herself after her mist bath. They preen away. They love to preen in the sun as well. Here's the budgies again. They're so cute. And here's Monty. Monty loves to be sprayed. And Willow's joining him. It's so cute. You can tell they're enjoyed being mis misted when um, they start, you know, spreading their oh, feathers and um, 
moving around like Monty is. If they don't enjoy it, don't keep on doing it. As they don't, if they don't enjoy it, if they just stand still and stare at you <laughs> and just move away. But you can tell Monty really likes it. He's enjoying himself. And the Borks, they like a little misting, not too much. But they like to be misted. And here they're just kind of drying off. And they're going to spread their wings to dry off. All the birds are happy now. They all had a bath. Summer takes her own baths. I don't even need to miss her. She loves taking baths. Your starfire. She'll go into her own bath. When my birds are outside, I put all their bathing water inside their cages. I don't use the baths that attach to their cages as that's dangerous. It can just fall off or blow off and the birds can actually get out pretty easy. So I never attach the bath. I just put it at the bottom of their cage. You can see the canary here taking a little sw sip of water. And there's starfire sunbathing. I find my turquoise and my borks really love to sunbathe. They lay in the sun and spread their tail and their wings. And Kingsley too, he does the same thing. And they all seem to be preening in the sun, really having a good time. And I got to be careful with my canary song here. As you can see her head is bald. I don't want her to get sunburned, so I don't keep her in the sun too long. But the sun will help the feathers grow back. Oh, these are some happy birds. Look at Sterling. He's even having a nap. And they're printing away. They had their mist bath. They had a sun bath. And they had fresh air. They love it outside. Look how happy they are. I love looking at my birds outside. You can see the colors better. And they, um, you can just see their feathers glowing. They're so happy once they get sun and fresh air. Here is Jack. He's just relaxing now. And Sky. Sterling is awake now. Splash. And Moonlight. They're all so happy. And here's Happy Monty practicing to be in a band. <laughs> He's so funny. So if you want to see more videos like this one, you can click on the video that you'll be seeing on the screen. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.